you know what? I've just been having another look through my scrapbook and there are some brilliant heart attacks in here. Just look at this. Isabel Thompson has created this fantastic symmetrical face by cutting half a face out of a magazine and finishing the other half off herself with coloured pencils. Brilliant. Daniel Smith made this 3D maze by sticking straws onto a piece of card in a sort of mazy fashion. Then to finish it off, he painted it. Great idea. Laura Atwood has used different coloured card to make three ducks for this pond, which she has then layered on a felt tip background. Chris Taylor has really brightened up this skyline using fluorescent paint for a fantastic fireworks effect. And look at this. I've never seen this before. This picture was made by David Beanie by sticking corrugated card shapes on top of each other. Great effect. Now, this very bold graphic picture was done by Stacey Harvey. So how did you do it, Stacey? To make this pattern, I cut some stencil shapes out of card. Then I placed the shapes onto paper and scribbled through them. When I took the stencils off, I was left with shapes. Good art attack. You know, I've been experimenting with stencils and patterns and I've found another good trick. Take a piece of thick paper or thin card, now the front of a cereal box is perfect for this, and cut it in half down the middle lengthways and then cut a slot down the middle that's the same width as a ruler. Make it nice and neat so you have a sort of letterbox shaped stencil. Now you can use this to create some great borders for around the edges of your artwork. Here's a little cartoon that I've drawn. Now simply line the stencil up near the edge of your paper and I'm just lining up at the top there and then scribble a design across the stencil. Now I'm doing a scribble, well it's a sort of spiral really you don't have to be neat about it, just go right to the edge and you'll find that this slot stops you going any further. And just go all the way across so you hit the edges. And it doesn't look very good, does it? I know what you're thinking, but look at this. When you remove the card, you have a pattern along the top. Then place your stencil down another edge, like that, and again, repeat your pattern. And again, I'm just doing my wiggly spiral to the edge of the stencil. And it bumps the edge. And then move it to the other side. And again, squiggly pattern and bump it on the edge of the stencil. And finally, there it is. And when you've finished, you have a stenciled border. Good effect, isn't it? And so simple. And, you know, you can do any design you like. Just scribble inside your stencil. So, OK, let's do another real simple one. How's about just lining up the stencil near the top and doing very simple scribble streaks? Just like that, all the way across. And see what I'm doing there? Is I'm not stopping at the stencil edge. I'm letting the edge stop me. See? I'm just hitting the edge. If you do that all the way round in exactly the same way, it'll look something like that. Look at that. Brilliant. Another very simple stencil border. So, OK, how's about a real fancy design? Let me think. How's about if we do half circles? So, OK, again, I'll just line my stencil up near to the top edge there and just do these half circles. And by half circles, I mean something like that. Okay, just again, going to the edge of the stencil... And if you go all the way round with your half circles, it'll look something like that. And, you know, you could try lots of scribble designs inside your stencils to create borders for your artwork or even for your writing. And, you know, they look really smart if you do them in silver or gold pen. And you could do them on your exercise books. In fact, you could do it anywhere you like to smarten up your work. Or you could do them just for fun. Try it yourself. To create your own stencil border, cut a slot down the middle of some cereal box card that is the same width as a ruler. This makes a letterbox-shaped stencil. 
Then line the stencil up at the edge of your paper and scribble inside it. Go all the way round your paper using any pattern you like until you have a complete stencil border. And that's it for today. Have fun with your own art attacks and don't forget, you don't need to be a great artist to art attack. <laughs> I'll see you next week on CITV for another art attack twice weekly. Ta-ra!